What's up guys? I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the background on your header or nav bar in React. Um, this is what we want to do. Notice the nav bar here has a transparent background. And when we scroll down, it changes colors. It changes to black. So you can change it to whatever color you'd want to use. And um, you can do this in your own project. Or I'm going to let you follow along from the beginning. Uh, this is a project I built the other day in React. It's a, just a financial advising website. Anyways, I'm going to put the link to the GitHub down in the description below. So feel free to uh, just clone that and we can work together from the beginning. So if you're ready to get started, let's get going. All right, you guys, let's do it. I'm in uh, VS Code right here. I just have a uh, blank folder open. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to press the control back tick button and let's cruise on over. This is the link. It's down in the description below. It's to my GitHub. Uh, this is the uh, the project that we built the other day. And also, if you want to learn how to build this complete uh, website in React, I'll post a description to that as well. But uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and click code. Then copy this right here. Then let's go back to our code editor. Going to paste that in. And it's not going to start because we're not in the, in, we're in the, the other directory here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to close that out. And I'm going to pull over execute financial. Okay. This is the, um, this is the folder that we just cloned. Okay. So what we're going to do, press the control back tick button. What we want to do first is type NPM I. Okay. And that's going to install all our packages. Should be just a minute here. And again, if you want to learn how to build this, uh, from the beginning, start to finish, I'll make sure that link is in the description below. All right, all finished here. So let's go ahead and start our development ser server with npm start. Yes. And this is going to be on port 3001. And as you can tell, the background here is black and we don't want that. We want it to be transparent. Then whenever we scroll down the page, we want it to turn black. Okay because it wasn't uh, visible, just a, a transparent background over white, that's not going to work. So let's go into our code editor. And what we're going to work out of is the components folder, navbar.js, and also the navbar.css, okay? So right here, this background color, RGBA, basically it's a black with a little bit of a transparency, but we're going to delete that. Actually, go ahead and cut that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class and I'm going to just name that header dash BG. And in there, I'm going to paste that color. Okay. So now it's transparent, right? Okay. So, and in our, and remember that header dash BG in our navbar.js, we're going to use state to, to, for it to change colors when we scroll. So to do that, we already imported state in this project. If you followed along from the tutorial that I listed below, and to just kind of make this easier to understand here, I'm just going to give it some notes. Um, so right here, this was a um, setting mobile mobile nav there, and then down here was a close menu on click. Okay, and what we want to do right now change nav color when scrolling. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use state for that. So this is the use state hook. You can call it whatever you like. I'm going to say color and uh, set color. Oh, okay. And then it's going to be equal to use, sorry, use state. And we're going to take a Boolean value. It's going to be false uh, as a default. Okay, so let's do, we're going to do an arrow function here. Um, uh, let's say we'll, we'll call it a change, change color. Okay. And inside this, inside this function, we're going to do an if statement. Okay. So if, uh, we'll say, sorry, window dot scroll Y, Y is the vertical axis and, and X is the horizontal axis. So window dot scroll Y is greater than or equal to, a uh, I'm going to say 90 because 90 is the height of our header. And this is in pixels, you guys. So you can make it the full screen or, or whatever you want to make it. I'm just going to use 90. But uh, if 90 
uh, we're going to say set color to true. Else set color to false. Okay. And we're not done yet. We need to add an event listener. So window dot um, add event listener. And that event listener is going to be scroll. And whenever we scroll, we're going to run this function here. Change color. Oh, and we need a comma. Okay. So let's add, we just need one more thing. Our header dash BG right here, kind of similar, basically exactly what we uh, did below here on this uh, unordered list here. We're going to, let's delete that. We'll just start over. We're going to say color is equal uh, to a uh, header, header BG. This is when scrolling. And if not, it's going to be just header. So that should be it, you guys. Let's check it out and see if it works. No errors. So yes, we are transparent. Then as we scroll down, hey, it changes colors. So there you have it, you guys. Um, that was a quick tutorial on how to change the um, background color of your nav bar in React. If you liked it, if you learned something, please, uh, I'd uh, really appreciate you liking the video and consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out some more content just like this in React and some other uh, technologies here in the near future. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.